All right, so all the new stuff is uh, right out about here. Here's a quick peek at it. All right, here we go. So we have a new command. It's called slash summon. The way it works is you have to well write summon space the a name of any entity in Minecraft, like a creeper, witch, fence post. Not a fence post. That's a block. But like anything, like a, a fishing rod, biome, a book, whatever. And then you can, if you want put in the coordinates of where you want that entity to be summoned and you can also add data tags which are really really complicated and I will not talk about them right now I might do a video on them later on like in a couple weeks from now but not now so I'll just go over that this does not exist alright for that video it doesn't exist here we go so here's an example slash summon make sure you put uh, all the first letters in capital just like that. Let's say uh, a sheep. Sheep. Enter. Here we go. Here is a sheep. That's uh, pretty cool. You can spawn everything you want. A slime. There we go. Here's a slime. Another slime. Another slime. I don't know if they can be. Sp they can spawn bigger. It looks like they're all the same size. Just give me a second. I'll I'll kill these guys. It's not gonna take a long time. All right, here we go. Here, there's one more. One more. Here we go. All right, so that's a new command slash summon. It's pretty cool. Uh, how about we go see that new thing about the item frames? So there is one thing that I call two punch. Two punch means you punch it, the item from once the object in it falls. Punch it twice, the item frame itself falls. That's pretty cool. Here's an example. Once, twice. That's a new feature. It makes everything just a lot simpler. And also there is what I call the name display. If you take an object, rename it, like remove the H. Here we go. It's renamed now. Put it in there. When you get close enough, the, I the name will be seeable from over the item you get the point i'm sure so that's pretty cool all right so in minecraft i'm pretty sure you guys have never or almost never fished fished i mean well now they have improved the fishing uh, side of minecraft they add a new fish and new things you can sh you can fish here's an example you can fish a uh, salmon you can cook it and eat it you can fish a puffer fish which if you eat it, you will be poisoned and you will almost die. You'll see an example later on. And you can fish a clownfish, which does nothing so far. You can also fish two types of object. What they call treasure object, which is anything in here. And also scrap object or trash object, I mean. Which is these four things and a lot more. You can also... Yes, believe me, you can enchant your fishing rod. Here's an example. Luck of the sea is one of the enchantments you can give to your fishing rod. You can also add lure, which allows you to have a better catching rate with your fishing rod. They added as well particle effect before the catch. I mean, before the fish like grabs your line, you're going to see particle effects if it doesn't fly over the air over the water just like that I'll try again it doesn't work maybe if I go like not in the water all right nope let's try again all right so let's wait and see that new particle effect if it does work you see that's why I never fish in minecraft it just never works I never catch anything <clears throat> come on come on do it do it. Do it. Come on. Let's go. Just do it. Do it. Oh, what is that? No, it's not a catch. I need to see the particle effect. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'll try again here. All right. Come on. Do it. Do it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. All right. That's not good. I want to see that, that these blue particles go flying around my line. Like, I get a catch. Maybe not. 
No, it's a chicken. Chicken, get away. Get away, chicken, go away. No. I just want to catch fish. I want to catch a fish. Come on, do it. I want to show you what's new. I want I want to show it to you. Come on, do it. Just bite, bite. Do it. Come on. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Just do it. Get away. Do it. Come on. So, I guess I'll forget that. Whatever. It's alright. Doesn't matter. I don't even care. But, yeah. Let's forget that. Go back. And I'll show you what else is new. So, with um, the puffer fish, I was telling you that you can um, eat it and get like all poison and stuff. You can also use it to brew a uh, water breathing potion. Here is how you do it. You take a awkward potion and you put your puffer fish in here and it's going to give you a water breathing potion, which is pretty amazing. Also, if I can get hungry at some point, maybe by uh, jumping around and running around, I can get hungry. Maybe one day. I just want to be hungry enough to be able to eat that buffer fish right here. Alright, I'll come back to that later on. And here's what a potion of water breathing looks like. It's at 3 minutes. You can bring it up to 8 with uh, something I don't really know. I think it's redstone. I'm not really good at brewing potion, but I think yeah, it's redstone. I'm not sure. Alright, so how about we take a look at all the new flowers? First of all, sunflowers right here are all decorations, nothing else. You cannot use it to have something... Yeah, you can actually, you can do it. Never mind, never mind, you can get the yellow dye with the... the uh, um, sunflowers, that's right, sunflowers, you can get the yellow dye. Alright, we also have this little red flower which will from now on replace the rose we had, we used to have. It's now called Poppy and it will give you a red dye when you uh, take it. We have Dandelion which we already had, yellow dye, we have Blue Orchid which will give you a light blue dye. We have the Allium which will give you magenta dye, Azure Bluet, light grey. Red, orange, white, and pink tulips will give you the corresponding color, except this is not white, this is light gray. We have uh, oxide daisy, light gray as well. We have these tall flowers, lilac and rose bush. Pretty cool. Magenta and red dye, you'll get used to it, it's pretty amazing. And we have these tall grass, double tall grass, that's what they call it, and we have the large fern which once again looks pretty amazing. It makes the landscape look a bit more realistic even though it's Minecraft so it's not but yeah. And we also have that last flower peony, 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 I don't know but yeah this will give you rose, uh, I mean pink dye so that's pretty cool. We also have a way to clone the books. Like I have this book here where I wrote my coordinates for the biomes and stuff so if I put it here, put a book and quill in here, I will get two of the same book. This is a pretty cool way to clone books. It's pretty amazing. Alright, we have this new block, puzzle block. No grass can grow on it. I think I said it earlier. So yeah, it's a pretty cool block. You can find it in your inventory and in creative. And it's found in the redwood forest. It's a pretty cool looking block. We have this new packed ice block, it's non-transparent, contrary, opposite to ice block, it, you cannot see through it, and it's found in ice spike biome. Alright, we have something else that is new about the flint and steel, let me go into a creative real quick, and I will show you the, f the fact that flint and steel is now a shapeless recipe, actually it's supposed to be, I did not try it yet, I'll put the flint here iron here indeed it is you just put that here anywhere does it does work usually it used to be that shape anywhere the same shape but now just doesn't matter where you you put it you get a flint and steel all right we also have a new shortcut settings if we go into uh, options controls we 
we have this new uh, menu here that is a uh, looks pretty cool and we have this feature right there is print you can put assign a button to this print which is cool instead of having to like double tap the W key you can like press whatever key you want to have it and then you run while you just keep walking it's pretty cool and we also have this new volume settings if you go in the music and sound we have all that here you can turn down uh, different sounds by uh, themselves instead of having to turn everything down you can like turn down the blocks and environment for any animals and keep like only the jukebox and note block or if the weather is boring you just turn it off and stuff like that that's pretty cool and you can you have this master volume slider here at the top once again pretty cool let's put daytime here there we go so also in the mine shafts and stronghold if you ever found one which I'm pretty sure you did you used to be able to see torches at multiple places but the lights like emitted by them was glitched and it doesn't work properly but now it's fixed actually it's supposed to be fixed so yeah from now on I think you should see a torch and the light will be fixed it's gonna be all good and now at last we have this fact that flint and steel plus creepers equals boom get close enough add it up and then it starts to blow that's pretty cool just right click on it and it he's gonna blow up and I think I'm not hungry yet you know what I'll just go back into creative give myself some rotten flesh there we go go back to survival eat that I can't eat it all right all right all right of course I can't eat it I'm I, uh, uh, is there something that will give me hunger a potion of hunger or something I don't think there is nope there isn't all right, I'll guess I'll be back once I'm done with being hungry. All right, so I have been running for about five seconds, honestly, five seconds, and now I am hungry. So I will eat that puffer fish and beware. Whoa, the poison. Four, hunger, three, nausea, two, you like, oh my god, just don't eat a puffer fish, it's bad for you, your heart's gonna be down to half a heart, half, ugh, half a heart in like two seconds, your hunger bar will go even more down than what it was before you eat that fish, and you're gonna see all blubbly everywhere for a couple of seconds, just don't do it. One thing, keep in mind, you can now eat salmon instead of a puffer fish. And we now have Nemo. Nemo, Nemo, the fish is in the house. Oh, it's dark. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And I'll see you next time. If you want, you can always subscribe to see more videos and like the video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching again. Bye-bye. All right, so I totally forgot to mention about the fact that now melons will spawn in jungle. You can find melons in just jungle biomes just like that, which is a pretty cool thing because usually you had to find them in chests or dungeons. So that's pretty cool. And also from now on, sugarcane, the texture of it will be changing from biome to biome. This, as you can see, is not as like flash green that we are usually seeing. It's more like a darker green, but... The texture will be changing from biome to biome just to match like the environment around it. That's still a pretty cool, pretty cool thing. And next we have, and also in oceans from now on, the bottom floor will not be sand, it's gonna be gravel. So as you can see right now, at the bottom we have gravel. And if you are wondering, it's only one layer thick. It's like that everywhere in the ocean, just like that. One layer of gravel everywhere, which makes gravel and flint, I guess, easier to find if you're looking for some of it. 
you're gonna find it in the bottom of the sea. So uh, yeah, and one more thing before we end that video. From now on, when you are high enough on a mountain or on a tree or whatever, once your eye coordinates get high enough, snow will start to generate on things, whether it's mountain, trees, whatever. As long as you reach that Y limit, when you go over that, you get snow, as you can see right now. It's not a snow biome. It's really not a snow biome. And I did not put that there by myself. It's just there like that. So, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. You have to keep that in mind when you're looking for snow, I guess. If you want to make snowballs, make a snow golem or whatever. It's a cool thing. Even though I hate snow, I find that being a cool feature. So, that's all. Once again... Thanks for watching and have a good day.